Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. I am Vidyashree. In this video, I will be discussing about chemical periodicity. This video is helpful for the aspirants of CSIR UGC net, gate examination and also for Karnataka state eligibility test aspirants. Without wasting time, let's directly start the video. Before studying about chemical periodicity, everyone must know about the classification of elements. The first question that comes to our mind is why classification of elements is necessary. For example, you just consider a shop. In a shop, soaps are kept separately at one place, whereas biscuits are kept together elsewhere. So even among the soaps, the shopkeeper classifies and se separate the soaps differently. Like bathing soaps are kept one side, whereas washing soaps are kept in another side. This arrangement mainly helps shopkeeper to provide the items that his customers demand. This arrangement is very very helpful. Similarly with respect to elements. When I tell about elements, I do not mean one or two elements. So there are many elements which process various properties. So in order to study these elements, to understand the properties of these elements, scientists made many attempts to classify the elements. So as to make study of these elements easier. Now let us consider a few attempts that were made in the earlier days to classify the elements. Such an attempt to classify element was made by scientist Proust. So according to his hypothesis, he considers hydrogen atom as the fundamental unit. So based on hydrogen, all the atoms were made. So this is according to Proust hypothesis. So since only hydrogen atom he considers as fundamental unit, this theory or his hypothesis is also known as unitary theory. Another important attempt was made by scientist Dobriner. He gives his law of triads. This German chemist Dobriner tries to arrange elements with similar properties into groups. And he classifies elements into groups of three elements and he calls these groups as triads because three elements are present in the groups as his classification and these three elements which are present in a triad are having increased atomic mass. Dobriner also shows that the three elements of the triad are written in the order of increasing atomic masses where the atomic mass of the middle element was the arithmetic mean of the other two elements. For example, you can consider one of the triads of Dobriner. They are lithium, sodium and potassium. Atomic number of lithium is 7, sodium is 23 and potassium is 39. So these triads are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass. Now also he told that Atomic weight of the middle element was the arithmetic mean of the other two elements. It means that if you consider atomic mass or weight of sodium. So that is the arithmetic mean of the atomic masses of lithium and potassium. So that is 7 plus 39 divided by 2. And this is equal to 23. So the atomic weight of middle element that is sodium of the triads, it is the arithmetic mean of the other two elements. So similarly we have chlorine, bromine and iodine. They form a triad and calcium, strontium, barium. So these are the other examples for triads. Dobriner has identified three triads, lithium, sodium, potassium chloride, bromide, iodide and calcium, strontium, barium. But difficulty arose when Dobriner could not arrange all the elements known at his time into triads. 
so he could identify only three triads now these are the limitations of dobrynin's law of triads after a few years around 1861 newlands proposed newlands law of octaves where he states that when the elements are arranged in the order of increasing atomic masses every eighth element has properties similar to that of the first one so let us consider example consider the elements lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine potassium calcium lithium is the first element beryllium is second boron is third four five six seven so eight if you check lithium and sodium sodium is the eighth element after lithium and these lithium and sodium were found to have same properties so lithium and sodium have same properties whereas if you consider beryllium so the next eighth element is magnesium and therefore beryllium and magnesium have similar properties so newlands concluded that when these elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses every eighth element is exhibiting similar properties but there are a few limitations with respect to newlands law of octave so his law was successful only up to the element calcium so after the element of calcium he couldn't find the eighth element having same properties as that of the first element later on when noble gas elements were discovered then this law of octaves was disturbed because of the discovery of noble gas elements another attempt to classify elements were made by lothar meyer so lothar meyer presents classification of elements in the form of a curve between atomic volume and atomic masses and he tells that properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic volumes this lothar meyer's atomic volume curve is a plot between atomic volume and atomic mass here according to him atomic volume is the ratio of molecular mass and density so from this graph he tells that elements which are present in the similar position of the curve possess similar properties for example here on this curve we have lithium at this position here we have sodium next we have is potassium then rubidium and the curve continue now since these metals are present at the maxima they have similar properties because all these metals are present in the same position in the similar position means they are present in the maxima of the curve so these elements have similar properties similarly if we have elements at this position here okay or at minima so those elements which are present at minima they have same properties or in between if they are present they have similar properties so this is how meyer classifies the elements another important attempt to classify elements were made by mendeleev mendeleev classified elements into periodic table based upon mendeleev's periodic law mendeleev's periodic law states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic masses here the word periodic function means that certain properties repeats after a certain interval so according to mendeleev's periodic law physical and chemical properties of the elements depends on atomic masses and these properties are periodic functions so at the time of mendeleev when he classified elements only 63 elements were known so he classified 63 elements into 
seven horizontal rows and eight vertical columns these horizontal rows are called as periods and vertical columns are called as groups zero group was added later on zero group means the group of noble gas elements a few important achievements of classification of elements by mendeleev's are that it helped in a systematic study of the elements it helped to predict the properties of new elements and their behavior so what he did was he left space for the elements that are yet to be discovered for example you can consider he left spaces for gallium and germanium in his periodic table he left a gap under aluminium for the element gallium so he named it as eka aluminium also he left a gap under silicon and he named that element as eka silicon so according to mendeleev's periodic table eka aluminium is the name that is given for gallium and eka silicon is the name that is given for germanium though mendeleev's periodic table had very good achievement but there were certain defects in the mendeleev's periodic table so one of the such of limitation of mendeleev's periodic table is the position of hydrogen mendeleev placed hydrogen in group 1a that is along with the alkali metals but this hydrogen also has properties similar to that of halogens which are present in group 7a so when the hydrogen is having the property of both alkali metals as well as the properties of halogens he places it in the group of alkali metals so now the position of hydrogen in the mendeleev's periodic table is controversial so the second defect is related to the position of isotopes as you already know mendeleev has classified elements based on the atomic weight but you know isotopes are the elements with same atomic number but they have different mass number for example you can consider isotopes of hydrogen 1h1 1h2 1h3 so they have same atomic number but they have different mass numbers protium tritium deuterium so these are the isotopes of hydrogen now if you check they have same atomic number that's their atomic number is 1 but they have different mass number 1 2 and 3 are the mass numbers of three isotopes of hydrogen mendeleev has classified elements based on increase in number of the atomic mass so these three isotopes should take different positions according to their atomic mass another problem with mendeleev's periodic table was that anomalous positions of some elements without proper justification in some cases element with higher atomic mass precedes the elements with lower atomic mass for example here you can consider cobalt and nickel in mendeleev's periodic table cobalt comes before nickel where this cobalt is having greater mass compared to that of nickel but according to mendeleev's periodic table he arranged elements in the increasing atomic mass but cobalt is coming before nickel so this leads to certain confusion he couldn't provide any justification that why in certain cases elements with higher atomic mass precedes the element with lower atomic mass mendeleev could not place lanthanides and actinides in the main periodic table so this is another limitation of mendeleev's periodic table in this video i have discussed a few important earlier attempts that were made to classify the elements in the next video i will be discussing the modern periodic table as well as chemical periodicity i hope you will find this video helpful if so please do like and share this video among your friends and family If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos I'll meet you in my next video thank you for watching stay connected keep learning take care bye bye